Okay, so Angela wants to purchase carpeting for her living room, and the dimensions of her living room are 12 feet by 12 feet. Doesn't hurt to sketch it out, right? 12 feet by 12 feet, so this living room is a square, right? Each side is the same. If carpeting is sold by the square yard, determine how many square yards of carpeting she much must purchase. So here we're told that 3 feet is a yard. So if we have 1, 2, 3 feet, let's say this is 3 feet, right here, those 3 feet make 1 yard, right? So this is 1 yard, is 3 feet. Okay, so we want to know how many square yards of carpeting she has purchased. Well, notice here they say that 9 square feet is 1 square yard. So the idea is that, if we scroll down a little bit here, instead of um, 3 feet, right, being able to one yard, you can think of a square yard and what that would mean. Well, if you had a square yard, let's say it's like this right here, right? And that's one yard by one yard, right? That's the definition of a square yard. You can think about how many f square feet this would be by just kind of drawing the grid out of the amount of feet per yard. So we have one, two, three feet on this side, and three feet, one, two, three feet on this side as well. So the whole area of this thing would be 9 square feet. Now these are not squares, I apologize, but they're almost squares, they're badly drawn, but each of these are square feet. And you can see if it's 3 by 3 on each side, right, just think of the area of a square, in total there would be 9 square feet for each square yard. That being said, we have um, a room that's 12 by 12 feet, we don't know how many square yards that is. So you can tell if it's 12 by 12, how many square feet is that? Well, 12 squared, or 12 by 12, is 144 square feet, right? This is the amount of square feet we have. Now, but but using kind of ratio thinking here, um, if every 9 square feet equals 1 square yard, right, we want to know, well, we have 144 square feet, how many square yards is that? So you might write it like this, or you might be more familiar with this type of um, proportion. Nine feet squared for every one square yard is the same as 144 square feet, because this would be equal, but on a, a larger scale, over x yards squared. And you might just write that without the units. So nine over one equals 144x. Solving for x, what do we do? Well, you can cross multiply if you like that, right? 9 times x is 9x, 1 times 144 is 144, and then we divide. Uh, 144 divided by 9, well, no 9 goes into it because 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, um, but I'm going to take a shortcut here. 144 divided by 9 is 16, so x is equal to 16. What does that mean? Well, that's the amount of square yards we have. And that, that just makes sense, right? Each square yard is 9 square feet, so 16 square yards would have 16 times 9, or 144, square feet. All right, hope this helped.